Let's talk to Ryan Littlestone. He is a trader and analyst at ForexFlow.live. Very good afternoon, young Ryan. Good afternoon, Nick. Right, Great British pound against the US dollar, known as cable. What are your latest thoughts? Well, <laughs> same as always, really. <laughs> yeah. We're in another period of uh, Brexit uncertainty. You know, the headlines hitting the market uh, negative this time. Um, but it's it's a it's a weird outcome for me at the moment because what we're seeing is a lot of these negative headlines, but they're coming from people who aren't involved in the negotiations. Um, so everyone's having a say about you know what they want from the deal and what they will vote for, what they won't vote for, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. Yet no one's actually paying attention to what Theresa May and Raab is is doing in negotiations. So there's there's a bit of a disconnect between what these people are moaning about and what's actually happening in negotiations. You know, we, we can look at one aspect and, and take the uh, the supposed ejector seat from the, the backstop um, when when the UK would be able to pull the plug on staying in a, a, a customs union. Um, we've got people out saying, oh, they won't vote for anything that doesn't get us out there. <laughs> but May and Rob are, are negotiating that very thing. So all these negative headlines are, are affecting the pound. We've seen a drop over the weekend um, or the early Asia. Again, it's negative. Now this afternoon, we've had further headlines coming out from Barnier and from the UK say that uh, you know a deal is still on the cards and they're, they're just sorting out the final issues. But my view, OK, is that this Brexit, when it's 95% done, that doesn't mean it's done. And for all of the rhetoric, a lot of people have said, oh, you can purely trade off technical analyses. This is a situation where I would maybe suggest that you do need to factor in some of the fundamentals, the sentiment, the political tone, okay, to try and make money out of these markets. Yeah, and, and funny enough, you know, that's exactly what I've done just now. Um, I've, I've been looking at, at, at the picture in its entirety, Brexit, the fundamentals, the technicals, and I've, I've just started buying the pound now. Um, I'm going to keep it very low key, very low risk. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to be happy now to buy the pound um, all the way down to 120 if need be, um, because I, it, it's very defined. Either there's going to be a deal or there's going to be no deal. Um, now, if there's going to be no deal, I'm out. Job done. Um, you know, I don't have to wait to see what what economic data does. I don't have to see what anything does. Um, if the headline comes out, there's going to be no deal, 100% confirmed. I'm out of the trade, done and dusted. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, it, the flip side is to trade it up for the good news is that I'm going to scale in small positions all the way down um, because at, at the worst case, I think it's going to run into December um, if we don't get anything. But they're, they're busting a gut to get something done for this November. Yeah. Um, that can only be good news. Um, <coughs> obviously, it's got to go to Parliament, but I still think Parliament's going to fold um, when there's a deal on the table and it's their choice to say whether it's, it, there's a no deal. Uh, it's one thing coming out in press articles and saying oh, you won't vote for this, that and the other and it would be a no deal. But once that choice is actually there on the table and these politicians have got to make the decision to give in the UK people no deal or a Brexit deal, I think they'll fold. But I also think the deal won't be as bad as, as people are going to be making out. Understood. Well, just to wrap up, OK, on a, on a basically a no deal, how low does this currency pair go, do you think? I know I've heard 120, <laughs> I've heard 110, anywhere in between there? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it depends where we are at the time. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm running this long trade. I've just started entering. I'm entering, uh, so I've entered at 129.19, uh, probably a little excited uh, in missing out the earlier dip. Um, but I've got to stop, you know, some 400 pips underneath what I call my disaster stop, which if I'm tucked up in bed and a no deal headline comes out, then I'm stopped out. Um, but in, in terms of, of where it can stop, well, you know, <coughs> 120 is a level you've got to look at because you're going to get that initial big reaction and in cable that can be worth five, 600 pips over over two couple of sessions. Um, but long term, you know, phew, you can't guess it really, you know, there's people calling for 115. As traders, you know, we don't guess, we just watch what the price action does and we trade it accordingly. And if we hit big technical levels and the price doesn't get through, then we look to trade it. And if it breaks, then we look to trade the break and we look for the next level below that. So where it can go is anyone's guess and we don't guess as traders, we, we 
focus on what we can rely on and that's the price action okay just to um, balance this up in terms of cable balls how high up could this go could this get back to 140 yeah it could go all the way back to 150 um, again it depends on on what the outcome of the deal is you know again you're looking at the the opposite side of a, a knee-jerk reaction all being plain sailing and we're getting a, a fairly good deal you know again there's 500 pips on the cards there um, and then you're into what happens next but risk reward basis i think a, a deal is better because for the pound because then that brings back in the, the the bank of england that brings back in rate hikes that brings back in economic certainty um so it's a big it can be a big snowball effect just as it can be for the downside but more so for the upside because you know everyone's looking at this with an with negative glasses on and if we get a big positive shock then then the upside uh, as you say 140 150 even perhaps even more but again we've, we've got to get through the technical levels and and keep an eye on the fundamentals ryan thank you very much we just ran out of time that's ryan littlestone trader and analyst from forexflow.live cheers nick